Um, my name's Nicole. I uh, was born with a passion and a love for films. And uh, as I was growing up, I also had, I mean, it was my favorite thing, and I had a total hatred for my older brother. Um, he was like the typical brother that you see in movies, like really mean and a trickster. But I actually learned to love him because he helped me get uh, into my career uh, doing something in television and film. Uh, one day when I was 16, he called me on the phone and I was like, why, did, why are you calling me? What's, what's up with this? Because he never called. So he, he said, and you, uh, there's a job opening at my work. Do you, wanna, do you want the job? And I said, uh, I'm thinking, did he forget to take his medication? <laughs> is he taking medication? Why is he calling me? So uh, he's very impatient, and without a, a second to think about it, I had to say yes. So I took the job, and I got a job in radio, because that's where he worked. He worked at this radio station called KFWB, and it was a 24-hour news radio station. So I was going to do production for, or actually promotions for the uh, radio station, so I got to go out and do um, any event that the radio station was doing. So I got to go to like um, any sporting event. We went to like the baseball games and tennis matches and all kinds of stuff. So I got to meet a lot of the professional players. We also did uh, college campuses, and that was really fun because I was 16 and I'd be on the college campuses, and all the college students would come up to me and say, "How old are you? What are you doing? Like, how, <laughs> how are you working here while I'm going to school?" And I was making a lot of money at the time, so they were really jealous that I was making more money than they were usually at their job. So um, it was really fun. The, uh, with that promotion job, I actually got to start working in the studio doing radio production, and I was the youngest person by far. Like the next closest person was in their 40s. And so they were, they were really nice to me. They all tried to help me do uh, better with my job because I was learning as I was going along. And it was a lot of fun, uh, but I realized that I didn't want to stay, stay in radio because of all the you know, cliches that you know, only ugly people usually work on in radio and stuff like that. So I didn't want to be stuck there. With, not that they were, but I didn't want to be stuck there. So I... Uh, I felt kind of like that was the end, end place for your career. If you were in television, usually <coughs> once you got older, you moved to radio, and that was kind of like their final resting place. In <laughs> so I decided that I was going to go to uh, television, and so I got a job at CNN, and I was doing uh, kind of the same pr position that I was doing at the radio station, but I was doing it in television. But um, in radio, I was kind of doing everything for like three people's job, one person was doing that was me, I was doing about three people's jobs. And when I got to television, there were three people doing one person's job. So I was making a lot more money, but I was working with a whole bunch of people, and so we kind of crowded and stepped on each other, and that was a little bit annoying, because I was used to like giving up so much of my power. But while I was there, I realized that I was getting closer in age to people that I was working with, and uh, the thing about the other people that I was working with was that they all had graduated from school, they all had their degrees, and I was just working and I wasn't going to school. So it was making like an impression in me that I needed to, you know, do something with my life more than just get a job and, you know, start going into my career. So that kind of stuck with me. And I had made a bunch of friends while I was at, at CNN. I got to, you know, make friends with a lot of the other producers, and one of my friends was going to start an entertainment company where he was going to produce uh, TV shows for Europe. So he offered me a position to come do interviews with him, and I would go out to all the celebrity interviews and do all the red carpets. And um, that was really exciting because I got to go to the Oscars, and I got to go to the Grammys, and I got to go to the Emmy Awards, and I got to go to a lot of parties. Like any of the movie premieres, I used to go to actually get to see the movies with the celebrities, and that was really fun. I interview a lot of cool people. But the same thing was always in my mind about the people being, um, you know, getting their degrees and doing really well. I knew I wasn't going to be able to compete at a level if I didn't have my degree. So uh, I decided that I was going to have to go back to school. Even though I had a really amazing job where I was going to you know, do a lot of things with it, I just knew that I needed to come back and get my degree. So in the end, I decided that I was going to come back to school, and that's where I, where I ended up. But it was a really valuable lesson that I learned that not 
not necessarily because you're making a lot of money and doing a lot of fun stuff. It's not as important as your education. And so that's why I'm here.